I've been receiving many messages lately from those that put their hope and trust in the NCA, the so-called nationwide ceasefire agreement that has done anything but cease any fire in that region. This is uh, something that the corrupt and brutal Burma regime has used to deceive many, really to buy time and to continue to dominate and Burmanize the entire region. Many people have told me how they feel really horrible that they were duped into believing that the NCA was a way for peace. And they apologize for standing on the wrong side and also for speaking out against those that have been trying to expose the dirty deeds of the corrupt and brutal Burma regime. And their NCA is a tactic of their way to dominate that region. Today is a new day, the first day of the rest of our lives. So we must focus on what we can move forward rather than things of the past. Right now, the corrupt and brutal Burma regime, they're stepping up their game. They're stepping up their attacks using the COVID-19 situation to advance and further dominate current controlled areas. They even went so far as to burn down a COVID-19 checkpoint that the current had to protect each other from the virus. In addition, the corrupt and brutal Burma regime seeks to brand anyone that stands against their brutality as terrorists like they have done to the freedom-loving Arakan army who has been defending their land, defending their people against these brutal attacks by the corrupt and brutal Burma regime ordered by Aung San Suu Kyi to destroy the Arakan. An example of the brutality of this corrupt and brutal Burma regime is the young Arakan man that was tortured. And when they beheaded him and carried his head around like a trophy. Look at this brutality. The world must see this brutality. Aung San Suu Kyi has done such terrible deeds. And now is the time that we cannot slow down or become silent. Instead, we must continue our efforts to advance the cause for freedom and self-determination for our people, continuing to expose the corrupt and brutal Burma regime for their evil deeds. God willing, please keep me in prayer as I am planning some trips uh, that will require travel to other countries. Uh, these are countries that continue to send weapons to the corrupt and brutal Burma regime. My intent is to go to these countries, provide evidence to them of what the corrupt and brutal Burma regime continues to do in human rights violations and genocide, and to request these countries to stop sending any weapons to the corrupt and brutal Burma regime, and for them to put pressure on the Burma regime to stop their human rights violations and stop the genocide. I will keep you posted as to the progress of these efforts. Stay Karen strong, always. Never forget what the amazing Karen people stand for. Peace loving, freedom loving, God loving families that simply seek to defend their land and their incredible simple life. May God bless you.